Hey everyone, today is the first installment of All About Tarts. This is basically an intro to tarts. If you're new to wax or um, you wanted to know more about these, you've never really tried them before, this is really towards you. If you have used tarts in the past, then this probably is not going to be very entertaining for you, but um, I will have other installments like what type of warmers I use and my storage in different segments. So we'll start off with what is a tart? A tart is simply a piece of wax that has fragranced oil in it and you put it on a warmer whether it be a tea light warmer or an electric warmer and I will show you my warmers later and it will melt that wax and distribute the fragrance out into the room. And they come in different sizes. You have some that are in cups. These are two ounce they're almost like dip cups. I always think of nacho cheese or like a side of jalapenos for your nachos. Two ounce cups. Um, this is a one ounce cup. And the one below it is a two ounce. It's just a different shape. Then you get some that are individually wrapped. Um, these are obviously not individually. These are in a group of three, but here's individually. So you can see that there's a wide variety. There's some grubby tarts over there too that are not really in the shape of anything. Sometimes I have ones that are shaped like donuts or loaves of bread. So they definitely come in a wide variety. You also have clamshell versions like Better Homes and Gardens, Scentsy, Party Light. They all come in the clamshell style where you can break them off and put the rest of them back into the little plastic container. Um, they will range anywhere from, I believe, one less than an ounce to about two to three. So, like, I think Yankee is 0 0.8. Yes, 0 0.8. And then the rest of them are all different depending on the vendor. And I believe the biggest ones were probably going to be the cubes. This is 2.5 and then of course I said 2 ounce and then 1 ounce and I'm not sure about, I think Tempting Treats about 1 ounce maybe even a little more than that and then Kim's I would measure all together because you're really getting three uses out of one bag. They are made by a variety of wax. It really just depends on the vendor if they are going to go with a paraffin wax which is probably your harder wax um, and then they might come with a paraffin soy blend, um, palm wax. It really just depends on, like I said, the vendor. What's another name for a tart? Well, you have tart, scent shot, melt, wax melt. Um, Grumpy Girl in the back here calls it a uh, cranky cup, wax melty. So you really, it just really depends on your ven on the vendor and what they wanted to name it if it's something creative. Some just stick with tarts. You have wax cubes also from um, Better Homes and Gardens. But all in all, it's about the same idea. You put it in the warmer, it warms up, and it disperses the fragrance. How long do they last? Well, it really depends, once again, on the vendor and what the size is. Um, and also the scent. If the scent is a really strong scent, it's probably going to linger a lot longer than if it's a soft scent. Once it melts, depending on your warmer, it should disperse evenly. Um, Yankee, I believe, lasts up to eight hours. Yes. So if you, yeah, approximately eight hours of fragrance. So it really just depends. Like I know Tempting Treats Toasted Marshmallow, that one lasted a long time for me. Um, Kim's tarts, they actually lasted probably about four to four to eight hours, and you get three, so really it's a great, great deal. Um, my Grumpy Girl ones are strong, Front Porch are strong. They all last pretty much the same amount of time. How much are they? Well, depending on your vendor, your Better Homes and Gardens wax cubes are two dollars and you get six pieces. 
Um, tempting treats. I can't remember how much they were. They were, I think, a dollar fifty. I think I'm not sure, but it really varies. Um, Candles by Victoria, I believe, are two. Uh, front porch, I believe, were cheaper than two dollars. You would have to actually look. The range, I believe, though, is anywhere from a dollar to two to two fifty. So it really just depends, and I'm, I don't have them memorized, but if it's, you know, in a specific range, if it's around $2, I'll buy it. I have no problem with that. It's a great way to try a scent out and see if you like it instead of buying a whole jar or a whole candle and ending up not liking what you purchased. I will share with you storage. Um, in my last video, so if that's what you're curious about, I would just hang tight. There's probably going to be three videos. Um, next, I'm going to share with you um, all my tart warmers. Well, not all of them, but the different styles of tart warmers that you can use to spread the fragrance in your home. So, until the next video, take care.